is just a quick shot so you guys can see the new one on the right and then the old one on the left. Yeah, guys, this thing looks so good. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be working on the BMW F30 and we're going to be working specifically on the side mirror cap. So you guys can probably even tell through the video, it's actually pretty decent outside today. I'm going to take advantage of that nice weather and we're going to work on the side mirror caps on the BMW F30. And the reason why we need nice weather is because obviously once we pop out this glass over here, we don't want to do it in the cold because that makes it more likely to kind of crack on us. So warmer weather is always better to do things like this so of course right now we just have the normal side mirror caps and we also have the normal turn signal we're actually going to be changing both of them because obviously it always makes sense just to do them both at once so i'm going to be doing the smoked out sequential turn signal over here and then a carbon fiber m style mirror cap over here as well so with that said guys let's not waste any time let's get into it i'll show you guys the new mirror caps the new turn signals uh nothing crazy they haven't seen before they tend to be pretty popular and common mods on these cars but still a great mod to do should give the car a much more aggressive look and leave it not looking so much like a dad sedan so let's get into so it so these mirror caps are actually sent to me by keys motorsports so huge shout out and thank you to them always coming in clutch legit came here like in two days i was surprised by how fast the shipping was so if you guys do want them i will leave a link down in the description below definitely go check them out but anyways with that said let me show you guys the actual mirror cap so of course comes in nicely packaged as always and here they are guys this thing looks absolutely amazing this is of course real carbon fiber it is combined with abs to make it stronger and more sturdy but this thing looks absolutely awesome guys it's kind of nice that the sun is right behind me so you guys can really see the carbon fiber weave in there yeah this thing looks so good this should definitely give the car a more aggressive look and just overall make it more sporty looking in my opinion but now that you guys have seen this let me show you guys the turn signals all right and here they are so these ones I actually just got from amazon uh they're pretty cheap i would say i want to say like maybe 40 to 60 bucks again i will leave a link to these in the description as well but here they are guys let me just peel off this over here so we can get a better look at it kind of tough with one hand let me just put this somewhere that it doesn't fly away because obviously we don't want to make a mess but anyways here they are guys uh, let me just show you quickly in the sun so again these are smoked out and they are sequential as well so when we turn on the hazards your turn signal it's gonna kind of create like that sequential look whereas the ones right now literally just flash nothing wrong with them it's just really mainly to get rid of the chrome in my opinion the sequential look of it is just a bonus to me but yeah guys this thing looks so much better and then the nice thing about these uh turn signals is they actually give you the tools that you need um, I mean, I don't think you should use them because this is a pry tool basically to take off the glass on the mirror. But since this thing is so skinny, um, I actually think you're better off using like a wider one. I'll show you guys what I mean later on. And then I actually think it gives you a Torx, um, I think this is like a torque screwdriver yeah it is so it does give you guys the torque screwdriver that you need to take off the old turn signals which is nice again guys i don't really see myself using either of these tools but i can see if you're in pinch and you really want to use them i guess you can i personally would not recommend it i think there's better ones out there so i'm actually going to use these pry tools that i have uh, if you guys do want these same ones i will leave them linked down in the description below so if i can show you really quickly look how much wider this one is than that one over there guys like you do want a lot of surface area when you're trying to take off those glass mirrors so um, again, if you're in a pinch, I guess you can use that personally. I'm going to use this here. So yeah, those are the mods there. Just as a recap to do this, you need some pry tools, you need some Torx bits, and uh, that's pretty much it. Maybe microfiber cloth, which I'll show you guys why uh, a little later on. So with that said, let's actually get into installing this. It's not going to be a super, super detailed video because I actually already made one, but I will still give you guys a high level of what I'm doing and just any advice that I can think of as I go along. All right, so what I'm going to do is take my pry tool over here, maybe this side specifically, and then get underneath the mirror over here and just pry upward until I feel a snap out of the clips behind. Um, as you guys can see, I did go inside the car and just basically tilt the mirror all the way back. So that way I have more space to get underneath here. But once we do that, I can start taking off the mirror cap and then we'll get to uninstalling this turn signal. All right, so as you guys can see, I have everything disassembled. By the way, this is what I meant when I said having a microfiber cloth is gonna come in handy because once you have your mirror hanging down, you obviously don't want it to scratch against your paint. Uh, just having a microfiber cloth to kind of lean it against helps a lot. But anyways, guys, so I took off the old mirror cap. When doing that, there's three clips. So one over here, one over there, and then one over there. They kind of go inside and then uh, expand. So what you guys want to do to take them out is just kind of pinch them together and then just pull it out. And then the mirror cap is also going to have two more clips kind of sitting on the bottom. I don't really know if you can access those smaller clips 
like over here. So just be very gentle when you take off these clips, taking off the entire mirror cap, be very careful, don't break those other clips. So once that was off, I tried taking off the turn signal. So to do that guys, there is one torque screw right over here. And then there's an additional three inside here. So one over there, one there, and then one kind of tucked over there. If you guys can see that, it's struggling to focus, but it's that one in the center of the screen. So yeah, once you remove those three, and then the one over here, you can kind of loosen up this part of the mirror, and then just uh, take out the actual turn signal, and then just undo this one plug holding it in. And then after that, I should be able to lift it away. So with that now done, uh, we can start installing the new stuff. So let's get into that. All right, so as you guys can see, I got the turn signal in. I will say this is always the most frustrating part of the process for me is uh, getting this thing to basically go back in because there's a whole bunch of ways that this turn signal needs to align with this, that needs to align with this. But anyways, that's now in. Before I actually go ahead and put on the new mirror cap, let me just turn on the car and make sure that this actually works. These are plug and play, so you don't need any coating and it plugs directly into the car, same as the old turn signal. But before I put on the new mirror cap and then have to take it off because it doesn't work, let me just make sure that this thing works. Nice, so it actually works. Okay, cool. So since that's working, let's put on the new mirror cap and uh, let's finish this up. All right, so to install these new mirror caps, all you need to do is just line up these clips on the bottom. And then these are the three main ones I was talking about, guys. So one over here, there, and there. This is what I mean by like, they kind of go in and expand. So just make sure those go in and they fully clip in. But yeah, anyways, we'll do that soon. But first, let me just put those screws back in for the turn signal now that I know that it's working for sure. Uh, and then we'll install the new mirror cap. I'll put the glass piece back on and I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, as you guys can see, everything is on and these are looking so good right now. Guys, this looks freaking awesome. Oh my goodness. Man, especially with the sun hitting it right now, the carbon fiber looks so good. The smoked out turn signal complements it so well too. Man, like this thing looks so good. Let me just step back so you guys can see a wider view of the car with it on. Um, obviously, again, I didn't do this side yet, so you guys can just see what the previous one looked like. Totally nothing wrong with it, but the new one just looks so much better. Here's just a quick shot so you guys can see the new one on the right and then the old one on the left. Yeah, guys, this thing looks so good. Let me also show you guys the difference with this turn signal with the other one as well. So what I'm going to do is turn on the hazards and we'll take a look at both of them. All right, and here's the new one. Obviously, it is sequential. It is a deeper, more pronounced orange. And then here's the original one. It literally just flashes. It's not as pronounced, especially in the sun. Like, you can't see it as much. So yeah, in my opinion, this one definitely looks way, way better. Again, I just stepped back so you guys can see both of them at the same time. Yeah, I know it's a common mod, and I know it's nothing new, but honestly, such a huge transformation between the mirror cap and the turn signal. This thing just looks way, way better, in my opinion. And the quality is honestly on point. In terms of fitment, I see no issues. No gaps over here. No gaps over here as well well this thing honestly fits so well and one thing i will say if i do that it does not creak at all from my experience mirror caps with abs they tend to creak like the ones on the 435 if i can just show you guys really quickly you guys hear that these i got off ebay i mean they look really good but they do creep. I mean, I really can't say I'm surprised though. These things came from Keys Motorsports and they only sell great stuff. So if you guys do want them, links down in the description below. Um, of course, those mirror caps on the 435 were cheaper, but this kind of shows you really do get what you pay for, at least in most cases. But hopefully this helped you out, guys. I still need to install the other one, so I'll do that off camera. So yeah, rather than boring you guys with the same process all over again, what I'm gonna do is just do this off camera and I'll show you guys the finished product. So let's do that with some movie magic. And just like that, guys, with some movie magic, it is all set. Obviously the same as that one. But yeah, guys, now they both match. Car is looking so good right now. We still do need to do a whole bunch of other things to the car, like an M Sport conversion, uh, wheel suspension, some of the more major stuff. But honestly, I like to start off slow, do these like little mods in the meantime, and then just sort of like build it up and get to those larger mods later on. But yeah, here's just one last look at the car. 
from the front with both mirror caps on. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. So again, huge thank you to Keys Motorsports for sending me out these mirror caps. If you guys do want them, I will leave some links down in the description below, as well as the turn signals. In my opinion, it's one of the best mods you can do to your car. It's very affordable. It's pretty easy to do. And I think it transforms the look of your car. It makes it look a little more aggressive. So with that said, this video is pretty much over. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you drop me a like, drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this new mod. And lastly, if you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.